Yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are playing more Civ 6, continuing with our Netherland campaign, and yeah, we ended up with Norway right on our border, but I think we got a pretty good start here. We got uh, some definite polder opportunities, uh, we need to get some ships out so Norway likes us, but uh, we got a golden age incoming, so that's gonna be good. Are we gonna flip Bergen? Pfft, no, no. Oh, so he has his Viking longships in this little lake. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Um... I'm wondering, well, we're moving this guy through. I'm wondering if this actually connects. This might actually connect to the larger ocean, but it doesn't look like it. I have to be honest. We're trying to get in on this war with Poland. Like, I want to... I'm just going to keep offering it probably every turn just to see. Because if we can get in on this war, that's going to make him like us a heck of a lot better. I don't really know why he's saying no. The only thing I can think of is A, we have no military. And, and or B, we just don't have military nearby. It might be because of one of those two. I don't exactly know. But Poland seems to be like, she's further away, so I'm less concerned about that. We're also close to getting uh, a religion. We're going to get the fourth religion, it looks like. Norway actually got one of the great prophets. He's just not using it right now. Dude, she's got quite a bit of troops. Yeah, Norway's struggling a little here. Norway is struggling a little bit. I'm not sure moving my troops forward is going to help, but we'll see. Like I said, let's just keep offering it. I don't really care about if Poland doesn't like us. Because we got a buffer between us right now. You are going to go grab this, and I think we're going to go buy a ship with this. So he'll like me. But we'll want to wait to the next era before we get that ship. Vessels large may venture more. We'll want to wait till the next era simply because... We'll grab that, and writing doesn't really matter. We'll probably want to get archery next. Um, but the next era is going to... That's why. His po uh, his prophet spawned in Nidaros, which is his capital, and yeah, it's completely trapped in. <laughs> so all his ships are going to be worthless unless he builds them in Bergen. Hmm. 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 So here's the problem. All right, well, let's start with what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we declare war on Norway. The problem is, as soon as I declare war, he's going to peace out Poland, most likely. If, however, Poland grabs Nidaros, Bergen is wide open for the taking. And now Norway is basically stuck to two cities. Is she going to be able to take Nidaros? Ah, uh, Norway has more troop count now. So probably not. Maybe I should be moving you up here. I'm thinking maybe I should be moving you up here. Yep. I'm thinking that's what we want to be doing. The downside is the heavy chariot right now is going to make it almost impossible to take this town. I really, really don't see her grabbing it anymore. I'm trying to get a little bit of vision. I should stay here. Should have offered last turn before I moved everyone. Hi, you want me in this war? Now, obviously, I don't want to be in that war if we're going to go Jack Bergen from him. I'm just worried that if I declare, he will just immediately peace her out. And then all of a sudden, these troops that are right here are going to come hit us. I mean, Bergen is wide open for taking. Wide freaking open. Unfortunately, I don't know why Victor's there. That's going to make it a little harder to take it, but, you know. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, we got six turns left. Um, and we do want the city here, so we're probably going to end up sending you back. Uh, we're at 153. How much is the ship? 250? 260? So, yeah. We're making 18 gold per turn. That's nice. How many turns left? Five? Four? Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you back this way. And then we're gonna bring you around. Unfortunately, we don't have the hill bonus, but let's get you over there. Ndaros is taking damage. Okay. Okay. I think... I also would love to declare war now, before the era switches. Because next era, we're gonna have... We're gonna uh, end up taking more warmongering penalty. Then again, the only one that's gonna not like our warmongering is gonna be Poland, who, quite frankly, is probably as big of a warmonger, but, you know. Hmm. 
Are you sure you don't want me in on this, dude? Sure you don't want me in on this? Nothing else we could take the cattle. Here's the problem. We declare war on him. We're infinitely as the enemy. And he's at 273 right now. But I imagine he has, what, one or two Viking longships, which is adding quite a bit of power there. I don't know. We could actually look at this. So that's 20, 40, 60, 70. So that can't be a one-to-one -one ratio. We only have one scout. And so I'm not entirely sure where this uh, combat strength comes from. Surely they're not adding in the towns. Maybe they do add in the towns. But you're you're at negative two. So that would still give us an odd number. Maybe you're getting plus five per town? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Yeah, I don't exactly know where those numbers come from. It's the same numbers that are here. Actually, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. 270. Compared to... Ah, see, here it's 65. So... Oh, that might just not be upgraded. Updated. Upgraded. Is 61, 65. Still wouldn't make sense because 20, 40, 60. Unless, once again, you're knocking him out for 5. 20, 40, 50. That would still be 55. No, because it's negative 5. He's fighting at half health, so that would be 10. So it would be 20, 40, 50. You're giving me 60. No idea. All right, he popped out a second heavy chariot. All right, that's not going to happen then. Nope. 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 All right. Well, no pe no war. No war. No war. No war. Because then we want to be friends with Norway at this point. Who is about to go settle down here. Mother F. Ah. <laughs> uh... If he puts it right here, I'm fine with that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because we can still get a city over there. Can we? Can we stop it with the barbarians, please, for like five minutes? Where did they spawn? Where did they spawn? Oh my god! It's like nonstop with these freaking barbarians, dude. Give me a break. All right, well, the only reason we're on his borders is because he put that city down right on top of me. Uh, they peaced out. No, they didn't. But he ended up getting... He ended up moving his great prophet down here. Hi, we're trying to move you through. Just, no, just stay there. Don't move. Don't move. Just stop. That's also not on your border, so I don't know why you're complaining. Piss off. Uh, I'm also going to leave you right here until this guy finishes just so we can link up and we're gonna go down there uh one two three four five six seven eight we can't put a city there now or we're gonna break a promise freaking heck oh man how long does a promise last how long promise civ six i'm assuming it's 30 turns length of deals and promises just another Civ 566, currently in place, how long the last four? Uh, Civ 5 didn't tell you, da da da. It doesn't tell me. How long must we wait for what has been promised? <laughs> this is one of the most common complaints. Also, can I tell him to do the same thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You lucky punk. Maybe that's why he actually put it there. One of the most complaints. Cross platform. Oh no, they're actually okay, that's totally wrong. That's totally wrong. Promises. Promises. Let's see. Promises. You if you agree to their quest, for many turns you receive a not notification. That is coming from the wiki. Thank you. Thank you, game. You love it when the wiki's literally like, when you do it for, you know, many turns, then you keep your promise. Ugh, freaking heck, man. All right, let's go archery into probably iron. I don't really need archery. I don't think he's gonna declare on me. He does have a scary size army now. We might want, I don't know. Well, we're gonna buy a ship. That's gonna make him like us. Uh, but we want to wait for the next era. You're going to go here. Also, he's oligarchy, so this would be really bad if he did declare on us. Um, you can go into Amsterdam. Doesn't actually matter at this point. Production towards settlers. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, please. 
Yeah, please. I don't care about plus one. You're going to take forever over there anyways. Uh, you want open borders and you're going to pay me a gold. Sure. Sure. I should trade him. Open borders back and get my gold back. Make a deal. I want to give you open borders. I want you to give me one gold per turn. Can I get two gold? Fine, one gold. Also, the other thing is we're going to trade with you. Take a delegation. Uh, here, here's this. She doesn't have a lot of gold right now, mostly because of the war. Hmm, interesting. That's fine. That's fine. So that's 418 gold. That's more than enough to pop out a galley. We could go buy a settler. The problem is I don't really want to lose double pop in Amsterdam. We would go down to three. Unless I bought it over here in Ultrick. Seems like a dumb idea. Seems like a dumb idea. Eurekas give us extra, civics give us extra culture. Or we could buy units. I think I'm gonna do a uh, free inquiry because this is usually the easiest one to get. Actually, no, 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 never mind. Uh, Brian, 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 Brian. We want this one. Plus one culture for every uh, uh, specialty district. And then we get a little extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craftsmanship is not improved? What? Oh, yeah, it is. I can't read. That's fine. You get over here. I think we need our boats. I think we need our boats. We could buy a builder, too. How many turns is the settler? So it's at 15. Because this is my thought. We could switch right now off the settler. And buy it next turn. And then we'll have a one turn settler we can pop out here in the future. The downside is we won't have the boat. Which is what Nora is really looking for. How long till we can buy another boat? 260. You have my Alice for 17 turns. So probably something along those lines. I just don't want to put this at size 3, because we could build and then buy. Well, okay, here's the thing. We're not going to be able to buy the Settler for 440, because the cost is going to go up. Um, and it might actually be two turns. Eh, we're one away. It'll probably still only be one turn. I think we are going to switch off of it. I think we will switch. I just don't want to put this at 3, because we'll consume two pop right away. Yeah. That means no boat. Yet. I think we're okay with that. I think we're going to be okay with that. I can't do anything with this. Oh, you know what? The scout was the other one giving us. But I had open borders, though. With open borders, they shouldn't be like, yo, your troops are right next to us. I don't know. That's one of the dumbest ones in the game. I don't like that one much at all. Okay, well, we're going to be able to murder this barbarian. Uh, you're going to go buy a settler. You now have three turns left on it. Definitely slowed it down a little bit. More than I was expecting, but that's fine. And you can go over here. Because this is going to be a better city for us. Hopefully barbarians don't spawn right there. <laughs> Probably will. You're actually about to grow again. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do that. You'll be back to four. It'll be fine. That'll work out just fine for us. He still doesn't have a religion. Mm, two of the three religions. We will have the last one here in a couple turns. We're also going to, like I said, want that boat. Did you peace out? You did not peace out. He's getting scary strong. He might actually be pushing her now. He might be. Might as well go all the way up here. And then I'm just going to put you on auto explore and you can go explore Poland then at this point. We have all this pretty much figured out. And see, a lot of his power right now is probably based on those longships. And quite frankly, those longships are stuck in there. So I'm just a little worried about the heavy chariots. That's the only reason we're not declaring on him. Seriously, dude? Seriously? Seriously? Piss off, dude. <laughs> well, let's let him hit. I'm going to let him hit. Sounds good. Ultric is losing loyalty at this point. Wait, let's, let's make sure we're saying this one right. Uh, let's see. UT, 
R E C H T Pro. There's a there's apparently a university there. Let's look at the pronunciation. Utrecht. 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 Okay. All right. All right. We figured it out. Um, I'm doing like these episodes back to back, so I, the first one hasn't gone live. Uh, that's a problem. Craftsmanship. <laughs> that's a problem. Is a mere reed so we're still gonna just sit here and wait. Hopefully that archer's gonna take a shot. I really, really want that city though. You trek. You trek. You trek. We're in a golden age too. He ended up in a golden age as well. But dang. Ah, uh, we'll be friends. Although, wait a second, that makes him mad at me because now we're friends with... Eh, that's fine. That's fine. Because now we're friends with his enemy, someone who declared war on him. But whatever. Whatever. He's still at war. He's not going to worry about us. Uh, we're going to leave everything here as is for now. This trade route should be done here pretty quickly. 21 turns, never mind. I was going to say, we could go ahead and send the trader out from here. Um, other thing is, loyalty is not a problem over here. I mean, it is a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, you're going to keep growing, and, like, all we have to do is just put Magnus there, and we're fine. I think we go here? There is something to be said about going down here. I just don't know how long till we keep that promise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we knew that was way in too much as well. Is there any other potential cities down here? Yeah, over here. God, I wish, I wish you could see, I wish you could see, respect strong navies, first impression, sell near them, declared friendship with an enemy, yeah, we screwed that one up, we had troops on their border, that one I called bullcrap on, maybe we're just not going to be friendly, I mean, long term, I think we will be, I just keep doing everything to piss them off, you know what we didn't actually look at, would she have joined, paid me to get in this war, no, because we're going to be oligarchy. Actually, he switched to Classical Republic. Yeah, we'll be a Classical Republic. Uh, this city is just not going to be nearly as good because there's not nearly as much hills and stuff like that. So what about putting the city over here? Could we put it here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now. One, two, three. So what about right here? One, two, three, four. We could put one here. I think we'll do that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then this is one. Uh, the desert, we're going to get rid of this crap desert tile, which is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We'll be fine. Okay. You are not attacking. We can kill you, though. So we'll do this. All right. We took it. There's plus gold. I think he should like me because of that, but don't quote me. Don't quote me. You're not going to like it that I'm on your border again. You're actually inside his borders, so surely that is, you know, not as annoying. <laughs> don't get mad at me for having troops on your border, because I'm inside your border. And I think I'm just going to sit here, because I'm kind of boxing him in. Because this is on a hill. There's no way he can actually take his troops and stuff around here. So in some ways, we're actually completely boxing uh, his units off from this part of the world. Uh, never mind. He can just go through the city, Brian. Still, good thought. Good thought. Good thought. If we get another unit over there, we could. You guys just heal up. You're going there, and then, yeah, you're going there. Okay, let's keep going. We'll be up to four cities, though, which is nice. We also could have put a city over here so we have less loyalty pressure. I just don't know what this looks like over here. You know what? Screw it. Let's go explore here. Just to see what's going on. Got a great person. There's a great prophet. Nice. And we're going to want to flip you to my religion as quick as possible. Just so we don't have any issues. Um, We shall do... Communism again? Communism. Not to be confused with communism. Well, okay. What about this? I do like the fish. I do like the fish because we're playing the Netherlands. Well, how about this? Uh, communism. The Church of Fishing Boats. Dang it. Communism. How about this? Fishing Boat 
Communism. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So we want anything that's going to give us culture. So we want reliquaries, definitely. And we are going to want, let's see, lay ministers, give plus one faith or plus one culture. That one's not necessarily as good. I think I'm still probably, world church is nice. I'm probably still going to buy holy order. See, any of these other ones better? Religion spread is 30% away. Your religious cost never drops. Culture bombs. Oh, no, no. We want this one. Your religious pressure never drops because of theological combat. Because that uh, that sinks well with Royal Quarries. That's what, actually what we want. We'll do that. And we're going to want to buy Missionary because we're going to want to make that our religion. Because, in fact, you're probably going to drop a little bit because you're not my religion. Although, you actually don't belong to anyone's religion. So, that's probably okay. Yeah, being neutral, I think, is okay. As long as you're just, you know, not the opposite. And that is Norway's religion. Although Norway, yeah, he did get his religion up. Okay, 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 okay. Now, he's going to hate us for being a different religion, too. I kind of feel like, man, we want more settlers. I want to put this city down first, just to double check that we can put it there. Uh, it should be four tiles away, but every once in a while you get these weird options. He never sent us the delegation, did he? Mm -mm. He never got us a delegation. They're still at war, too. They're still at war. Long freaking war here. Um, hi. Magnus does absolutely nothing for us now, so I am just going to put you up here. Just to keep full loyalty. Because there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. Stockholm was defeated. Dang it, man. Norway. Well -educated workforce. All because of these stupid promises. Actually, you come down here. Let's let's explore a little bit of this. You are going to get me my city. That gave us era score. We might be able to get another golden age. Probably not, but I don't think we'll be in the dark age. Double cities. Nice. Nice. Um, I will go ahead and grab ourselves a builder. And then you go grab a granary, I think, at this point. We also want monuments everywhere. You're Oh, that's communism. Wait, how are you losing communism already? Seriously? I mean, it's slow, but come on. It's only two cities to one. <laughs> what? Seems a little weird. A little weird. A little weird. Okay, give me a classical republic here pretty quick. There is our promotion that we want, provision. So we need to switch him back mm, before we end up finishing that. That's fine. Uh, production towards wonders doesn't matter. Production towards settlers, yes. We should take... How long? 12 turns. I think I'm like, I really want to finish this granary, though. Yeah, we really want to finish this granary. Also, too, remember, we need boats. We need boats. Ugh. I also need a builder up here, because we want to work some of these tiles. It's kind of a crappy city, to be honest. There's, like, no production up here. Eh, that's fine. What about you building a boat? Let's do that. Yeah, pop out some galleys here. She should... Bronze I think she should like me. I swear with these barbarian encampments. Of the Dude, what is with them? They are crazy. This game. I don't know where that one was. Over there. That's fine. Okay. They definitely seem to be tuned up a little bit recently. I don't know. I just feel like I have barbarians declaring on me or spawning right next to me a lot recently. So we want celestial navigation because we're going to want to pop out that harbor. Uh, Do we get iron anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Of course not. Why would we get iron? Why would the game give us iron in a continent map? What the heck? There's no iron. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the only iron. I think they tweaked all of these, the spawn rate a little bit with Gathering Storm, which thank you. We we don't we didn't spawn with iron either. There's literally no iron on our side of the island. How the heck is that balance game? That's bad. That is really bad for us. If Norway decides to go for this classical push, we're basically screwed. Because we don't have knights or swordsmen. Dang. That is just trash. Golly, man. Please be iron right there. Because we've explored literally everything else. Or, I mean... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Terrible, man. I mean, I guess we could be pulling and spawning in the water, or in the tundra, but still. 
I love how the two irons are right here in Norway. Now, Norway actually doesn't have these iron either. Mm-mm. Poland's actually closer to him. And if I talk to you, yeah, he doesn't have iron either. Okay. Okay. That might not be the worst thing then. But he will have his berserkers. So he could still theoretically do that war thing. I'm just keeping you over here. Just kind of like keep some vision out. Probably should put you back over here in Amsterdam. Maybe here. Just so you're kind of like close by. Okay, you're finishing the granary, which is going to get us extra food. You're supposed to be on auto explore, by the way. Looks like Poland's a little trapped. Poland's going to be kind of tiny here. Yeah, Poland's going to be kind of tiny. Babylon's going to help. That was another barbarian encampment. I swear to gosh. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Stop it with these freaking encampments! Oh my golly freaking heck! Uh, I want to spawn a galley. I'm going to bring you down, and I'm going to spawn the galley here. We're about to get double galley. We also should switch off Celestial Navigation and finish two of these guys. Like, uh, get a builder, and we could go get you and, you know, the client pearls. So. Probably what we want to use our gold next for. There's our first ship. And then you're coming over here. Okay, and I still man. I feel like maybe we should bring you back then. Yep Okay, you're gonna go hopefully find iron here on the coast <laughs> literally on that last towel on the coast You're gonna find iron. That's our only hope right now our only hope Oh, Please tell me you're still at war. You are still at war. I like to see and you needed 150 you needed 150 Okay Because we want to get uh, Ultric as our religion. No, no dang it Brian dot Brian you know this how you freaking say it? Wait. Hague, right? The Hague. The Hague, yeah. And this was like Don Hague or Den Hague, I think was how you were actually say it. Uh, which apparently translates in Amer uh, to the Utrecht. Utrecht. I need to write this down. Utrecht. 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 We're trying, guys. We're trying. Oh my god, dude. What is up? Where did that one spawn? Surprised it didn't also spawn right on our borders. They got rid of the other one. Okay, they actually spawned that right there. Hmm. Hmm. That might uh, put Norway in some awkward spots. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you're finishing the Settler. Political philosophy is about to finish, which is going to give us Classical Republic. We unfortunately did not get... Did not get Iron. <laughs> Dang it, game. Dang it, freaking game. Come on. We also would like to get. We also would like to get uh, the government plaza up as quick as possible too, but probably too little, too late. Uh, you know what we should do, and we'll probably do is switch this over to production towards naval units just to finish that up a little bit quicker. You're coming over there. What were you doing? I think I'm still bringing you over there. There's no reason. This guy's here. He's gonna take care of it, but still. Okay, let's go. Um, next city I think I want to put up over here. Yeah. Just to get a little more loyalty towards Yuletrek. I don't like the fact that he has a dude. No, that's not fun. Also, we gotta remember to move Magnus in five turns. Gotta move Magnus in five turns. Ooh, there might be, uh, there might be another island over here. Norway build a Stav church. That's bad. <laughs> that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we're probably going to build another naval ship, just straight up honest with you guys, because we want naval ships. I really still need a builder, but we can buy it here in a couple turns. You might as well just heal. We'll take you back up. Divide and rule a sound motto. I'm actually going to take you here. A better one. Maybe you can go over here and grab that. That's a while, but maybe. And then you could go hit uh, Amsterdam. Stay there for now. Okay, so what we want is we're going to flip to Classical Republic, which I think they both are. She's oligarchy. He's Classical Republic. I would rather be, like I said, friendly with him, so let's switch to Classical Republic. I'd rather be Classical Republic anyways. Uh, 
And now give me production towards naval units, and then give me plus one production all cities, plus the settler, and then plus two env and on envoys. Influence points towards envoys. Yeah. Yeah, because the only one we're going to really use this on is uh, Stockholm. No, whatever our uh, money city is. Yeah. And we already have an envoy there, so I think that's fine. Production towards builders is a good question. I actually almost want to do that instead of that. Nah, we need a third ship. We need a third ship. I'm going to do this. A plus one production in all cities is strictly better right now. Yeah, because we're just going to buy a builder, I think. We want to get the sea resources, so let's switch off of that. Uh, Magnus, we got one more turn and we can switch. You're going to go for defensive tactics so we can get these walls up as quick as possible. I don't care about the religion. Uh, I do actually... You know what? I'd rather have Jarman Poetry. I'd rather have Jarman Poetry. Okay. And I'm going to move Magnus down here even though it's a turn early. Just because. Just in case. Reassign you back to Amsterdam. You're probably losing loyalty. It doesn't look like it, but... Dude, what the freaking heck? Is he going to wipe out my religion instantly? He's going to go wipe out my religion. Unless he's going down here for Lisbon or one of these other cities. And I can't stop him. Holy crap, dude. Yes. Okay, we can go settle down here. So he should like us a little bit better. I can't even discuss it with him right now. Because he's not flipped any of my cities. Dang it. Aw, oh, he also ended up with olives. Crap. What was the other thing? We wanted to switch off Celestial Navigation. Because we're going to get the harbors. So we'll go over here. Maybe for the walls and eh, whatever. Yeah, if he goes... He could just knock us out right now. Wow. That goes to show you, like, how strong the AI is on Deity. Like, they could literally just win every single time if they really wanted against you. Poland receives declaration from Lisbon. Okay, that's fine. Government Plaza we do want to grab. But I think we're going to build an Amsterdam. I'll have to find a nice place to put it. Do we want another holy site? Not really. Uh, we're going to build another galley. That's what we're going to do. Five turns, baby. So Norway should start respecting us because of our fleet here pretty quickly. Should. Should. Also, Poland's right here, too. How about you don't flip me either? Just stay away. I guess they're all going for Lisbon or my own cities. I don't know. Now, the downside of having a religion is the fact that there's a chance uh, that we end up losing loyalty in some of our cities because we don't have a religion, but whatever. We also want to get some of these wonders up, too, eventually, but also whatever. Speaking of which, builder. Yo, go improve that, and then we'll send you over here to get the crabs. And we need to get a city down here as quick as possible. Yo, go back over here. Wait, why? what? Oh, because we're not friendly with Lisbon anymore. <gasps> sucks that sucks we just don't have envoys i don't know how she had that many envoys i really don't like harold freaking five envoys there in lisbon already what what a little bull crap just a little bit of the bull crap but all right does he like us because of our navy now negative five for strong navies we have two ships all right well three ships maybe will be enough Drama and Poetry will switch back to Builders. And I think we keep popping off Settlers. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Yeah. Yeah. Give me Masonry for the walls. Which I kind of want to get up as well. And you can just go explore. It don't matter. We need to get a city down here as quick as possible. We actually want a couple cities over here. The downside is I'm only going to be able to put one city. Once I put one city, then he's going to be like, oh, yo, you can't put another city near me. So the question is, would I rather have a city here or here? I think I'd rather have it down here. We can fill this in. E ah, man. Man. We're probably just going to have to break this promise. We're probably just going to have to break it. We kept the promise at least the first time. And once again, we ended up spawning with two of the three religions right on our freaking coast. The same thing happened to us when we were playing live stream. We were playing as Tamar, I think, right? And we had two of the three religions right on our freaking 
uh, on our island, which made it really, really uh, interesting. First couple turns, because it looked like we were going to lose our religion. And what's funny is we had Alexander in that game. <laughs> like, Alexander went and rushed out of religion. I was like, what? All right. The temple. None of these really matter for us right now. I think I'm going to put it here just for, like, right away. We can go down there next. Yeah. Trade routes are done. I think we go to Stockholm. We don't need the loyalty here. And that's only an internal trade route. I'd rather keep going into Netherlands so he likes us. Or he's less likely to declare on us. This is also going to give us nice little roads going through here. Eventually. Um, yeah. Government Plaza though. We also want the theater square here, too. So let's think. We want the theater square on the river. We got potential Mount St. Michelle here. We also got Mount St. Michelle there. So let's put the theater square here in Government Plaza. Maybe we rip up the stone? Yeah, we could harvest the stone. You have enough for only one more district right now, because until for another eight turns. Hmm. Lots of options here. So do we want to knock out another settler? The thing is, we want the government plaza, and we want the first tier building before we throw down these cities, so we can get free builders. Uh, hello game? <laughs> hello? Apadana is not a terrible idea either for this city. What about just getting rid of the rice? I can't harvest the stone. We could also just put it here. Theater square here. I don't know about a harbor in Amsterdam. Only because, I mean, sure. I'd rather have polders, I think. The holy site's over there. Must be built adjacent to your capital. Hmm. Hmm. The other option is we went here with the theater square. Or the government plaza. Or even here. And then we could put the theater square there, Apadana here. Problem is... It doesn't help us. What about here with the theater square here? Yeah. Yeah. And then we have potential Mount St. Michelle. But once again, and then we could do the Apadana here, but then we'd rather have the theater square there. Urgh. Is it worth the faith? I mean, it's a plus one faith, which isn't bad. I think I'd rather have theater square there, because then it's adjacent to two. It just sucks for the Mount St. Michelle, which we need. We absolutely need the Mount St. Michelle for what we're doing. Because we can get ridiculous number of relics. Which means we're going to want to build some more holy sites too. Sorry, I'm spending way too long thinking about this. Because this is kind of an interesting position. Is there any other wonder? I could see us getting the Apadana. Because we tend to be able to get it. Like we tend to get it sometimes. We could also even potentially get a Temple of Artemis right over here. But. Ah, Temple of Artemis is not bad. Temple of Artemis is always pretty decent. It's only 17 turns. We could do some shopping to get it. I need a little extra money. Ah, dang it, game. All right, let's go Freaking heck, man. So then Theater Square here. So let's sit the Government Plaza here. No. Let's put the Government Plaza here. <laughs> Oi. Oi. And then we'll put the Theater Square here. And we could get potentially uh, Mont Saint Michel, Apadana, Temple of Artemis. All right, sounds like a plan. There you go. 
Okay, we took way too freaking long on that. We're also at 40 minutes, so holy crap, we gotta wrap this episode up. Let's do one more turn as an apology for taking six years to figure out what we were gonna do there. Sounds good. Masonry, um, we actually do want to build a quarry. So let's go one more turn after this. We need more builders. And we're about to switch that up in three turns. So yeah, let's go grab that. Uh, I don't really care about the bananas. No. I think actually let's go grab a quarry. It's just a single quarry. We can grab that on our way to the crabs. We do want to harvest this stone though. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, let's go knock out some builders now. Uh, we can get rid of you. You are like ready to go. Like there's nothing really for us to do. I'm just going to go put you maybe in the city just to guard the city a little bit better. Maybe we'll go have you travel up and around. That was terrible. We want one more turn. Because... Yeah, let's go ahead and switch up masonry then. Are we going to mine a resource? No. We don't have mines. Literally impossible for us to mine now because there's no uh, iron. And you'll grab that next turn. That'll be good. Hopefully it'll give us a nice little boost or something. We'll see. Um... Holy Site Campus. We actually really want the theater square in two turns. And we can only do one district right now, and I'd rather start with the theater square. So work on a monument. Work on a monument, and we'll go theater square. We will build a holy site over here. It's not going to be the worst thing. Also, remember, we want to put these on the river. Yeah, so the theater square, where did we talk about? We talked about it. We we're going to put the theater square there, Brian, not the government plaza. Oh, no, we can put the theater square right here. Yeah, 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 we're harvesting that. I remember. I remember. Okay. Okay, okay, we good. So for now, wrap the episode up. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'm gonna go flip my town back, you little punk. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.